Hi, last episode we looked at case. In this episode, we'll be looking at loops. The good thing about loops is that regardless of the programming language, the loop will always remain the same. So I think it's crucial that you guys fully understand how to work with loops. So we'll declare a variable, initialize that variable to zero, then use a for loop to increment that variable to a certain point. It sounds a bit technical, but you'll get the hang of it. Alright, so the name of our function this time is for. This function takes three arguments inside the parentheses. One is to initialize this, the variable. Two is to determine the limit. And three is to increment the variable. Each argument is separated by a semicolon. All right, so let me explain a bit how the for loops works. So at the start of our program, count is initialized to zero, which is the first argument inside of our loop. Then the program will check, is count less than five, which is our second argument. Once this statement is true, it will print out the number now is and count. So it will print out count current value then it will increment count by one count plus plus stands for count equal count plus one then it will go again so in the second increment count will be one when it runs it'll say is count less than five one is less than five so that statement is true again so it will print out one then it will increment then it will keep going until it's until it reaches four four is the last true argument since four is less than five when it reaches five five is not less than five so the argument becomes false and at that point it will terminate the loop so now let's run our program and see what happens so our program runs successfully just scroll up and you'll see that it starts from 0 to 4. That's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you guys in the next. Yeah.